could you talk a bit about the decision to move uh, the guy whose name is on the cruise from the main concert to a late night concert restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> so the question was uh, regarding uh, having just, just had Jonathan's concert from the band concert be just a, a one-off onboard concert as opposed to a main concert event uh, for you know early and late show. Uh, I've been talking a lot. I don't have to continue talking even though this is the program in Okay. Uh, this is. I'm interested to hear the answer as well. <laughs> so this is another one that's in a couple of parts. Um, one of the things we are looking into programming wise for the future, not necessarily immediately for 2023, is um, looking into the options of a, a somewhat more festival style setup, which is to say that a lot of other festival style cruises, they don't have the same show twice in a night for the early and the late dinner. For like their big headliners, they will have, say, two or three performances in the main theater, maybe one on Monday, maybe one on Thursday, or one performance in the main theater, then another one on the back deck stage, or things like that. And then the other acts will have two or three or four performances uh, throughout the week. Um, and last night was a little bit of an experiment to see based on the numbers that we knew had attended the land concert in, in 2020 for Jonathan's concert especially, it seemed like it, it would that this room would support the number of people who wanted to come to that show. We were hoping that it didn't overwhelm, you know, there were, at least looking at the room, there were a number of open seats and that we weren't seeing tons of people getting turned away at the door or anything like that. Now I also understand some people just may not have been comfortable uh, coming to a room that crowded, yeah, or to a show that late, or to a show that late, and we understand. And we, and as I say, we we also knew that might have been the case, and we didn't want to upset anyone. But also, Jonathan has multiple performances during the week, so if we were going to do that with one act, we figured that was the easiest one to try. And you know, again, we apologize for those of you who couldn't, for whatever reason, come to the show last night and were disappointed about that. It was, it, you know, we weren't trying to mess with anyone, but we wanted to see how that structure worked a little bit. And, and, also, we, oh, sorry. and we also got to, you know, the, the, the schedule itself with the two shows and the some ports are late and some, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a Tetris, a bit of a game of Tetris. Uh, and we kind of got close to the end of that game of Tetris. And I was kind of like, well, we can't really, if we do this, that's going to, if we put me in this slot, it's going to mess up this thing. So it was just, that was another reason that we were like, let's try, let's try it out this way and see how that works. And there will be an opportunity in the survey about this and other things, as mentioned, uh, to, to give us feedback about that. Yeah. I loved it. Oh, oh good, thank you. <laughs> Kate loved it. 